Hi, my name is Mandy Buchanan and I'm the owner of Go Deeper Bible Studies. And in today's Bible study, we're going to be having a look at who were the Magi that came to visit Jesus when he was born. In Matthew 2, verse 1 to 12, it says, After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. So now we see here the wise men, or the Magi, with their gifts. And it's often told that there were three wise men, but if you listen carefully, there is actually no indication of the number of Magi that there were. Actually, the fact that there were three wise men is a Western church tradition that the Western church has come to believe. But in the Eastern Orthodox Church, they actually say that there were 12 wise men. But the fact is that we actually don't know how many there were. There were more than likely quite a few more than three. But we actually have no idea how many there were in total. Another misconception is that sometimes these wise men are referred to as kings. For example, in the Christmas carol, We Three Kings of Orient Are, that is, refers to them as kings, but they actually weren't kings. These magi were actually of the priestly caste in Persia. And it's not the first time in the Bible that we actually meet these particular or these magi, not obviously specifically the ones that met Jesus, but the case as a whole was also in the time of Daniel. And in the book of Daniel, we are told that there were magi then that Daniel was more than likely actually in charge of. In Daniel 2, we see that King Nebuchadnezzar has a dream and he calls upon all his wise men, his enchanters, sorcerers, astrologers, to tell him what his dream was and what it meant. And one of the words used here is actually the same word for magi. And so one of the people that was called to interpret Nebuchadnezzar's dream was a Magi. And later in the same chapter, it says to us, Then the king placed Daniel in a high position and lavished many gifts on him. He made him ruler over the entire province of Babylon and placed him in charge of all its wise men. So Daniel would have been in charge of and had contact with the Magi in Persia at the time. And these Magi would have heard of the prophecies of Daniel's Messiah and what was to happen. And so we see that they knew when Jesus was born 
that they were to follow that star because of a prophecy that had been given to them. Now, we did a video sort of end of last year where I looked at how did the wise men know to follow that particular star and I spoke a bit more about this prophecy that was given to them and about how they actually worked out to follow that star to find Jesus. But these, uh, these magi were actually priests of the Zoroastrian religion, but they had exposure to the prophecies of Daniel. And so they came to worship Jesus when he was born. So there's not a lot known about the Magi, but as I say, we do see them in Daniel and we see them in Matthew. And we also know that they were great astrologers and astronomers. They were actually known for their ability to interpret the heavens and they interpreted it in the right way and the way it's supposed to be interpreted. You know, today so often people get deceived by horoscopes and they think that the stars are about them and that is actually evil. It's a satanic distortion of what God intended. But what God intended in the stars was that they should point to Christ. And that's what our previous series was on, was looking at how the stars actually point to Christ. And these Persian magi knew the truth of that. They knew that the stars and astrology and astronomy, the way it's supposed to be, point to the true Christ. And so they were there to worship him shortly after he was born. We don't know exactly that it was when he was born. It was probably a bit later, but sometime between Jesus' birth and when he was two years old, we know that these Persian magi arrived to worship him. And in our next video, we are going to be having a look at the three gifts that they brought and the significance, prophetic significance that each of those gifts had so why they were chosen as the gifts from the Magi. So I trust you'll join us for that as well and that you've enjoyed today's session. Thank you and goodbye.